What's going on guys? Welcome back to the episode of Factory Outlet Simulator. Last episode we made a ton of progress by expanding our factory and everything and things are looking good. I'm excited about this and loving this game still and it seems like you guys are for the most part. I wouldn't say the videos are doing amazing on this but um, I guess our, I think our, actually our last video that we had actually we're at about a thousand views on which is absolutely awesome so thank you so much for that i really appreciate it and uh but if you guys are enjoying this be sure to drop a like on the video show it some love and support and if you guys are new around you checking this out be sure to hit that subscribe button down below so you guys don't miss out on any videos that we are doing here but um let's go ahead and see where we are at with things here looks like yeah we got some of that stuff and where are we at with excuse me where are we at with licenses here it looks like we have the newest actually no we do not so this is 40 200 bucks to unlock that and then these are 3400 so we're not going to be doing these we're going to be doing these h&n ones so there we go dropped us down quite a bit of money there but let's go ahead and see what our next we're going to again continue on with everything that we we're doing here with the wholesale orders that seems to be the best and quickest way for us to keep on making some money so that's what we are going to do here but um actually why do we not have these should be um swapping over with a new license in there but i guess maybe not I don't know why that's not, um, okay. Well, I guess we're going to keep on making some of these. we got 40 minutes to do these. We need 40, we need 440, so 44 of the, uh, gray jeans, which will cost us 1.7 thousand for those. So let's, um, yeah, I guess let's just go ahead and do that. We need the Unico gray, um, that's the North Slope. Here we go. So we got gray, colored fabric, plastic button, and cheap zipper. Let's see here. Um, shopping. Plastic button and cheap zipper. I just want to see. So colored fabric, plastic button, cheap zipper. I believe that's what it was. Right? Colored fabric, plastic button, cheap zipper. Yes. And some of you guys are telling me we can actually... Oh, we can. Okay. So we can actually just type in the amount that we need for these, which is awesome. So there we go. Just like that. 1.17 thousand. That's exactly what it said. We have 5.42 thousand for that. So let's actually, you know what we're going to do here? We are going to order. Um, we can afford that. Yeah, we can afford seven more. So let's just keep on making some more machines here. We got more space. Why not? Let's uh, just keep them on moving here for, for this and just keep expanding this factory on out. That's the name of this game here currently for us as we are just expanding upon with the wholesale orders and um, doing all of this. And I am loving it. But like I said, you guys seem to be absolutely enjoying this, so thank you very much for that. I really appreciate love and support. And also, over the weekend, we just hit over 3,000 subscribers, which is absolutely amazing. Like I said, I can't thank you enough for all the love and support that you guys show me and the series and everything and all the other series on the channel. It is absolutely amazing. And, um, yeah, so we're just going to continue on rolling with all of this. We should probably start printing and some of these pants, but I kind of just want to get all these in here. I want to see how many we're, we're going to have here with all of this. And uh, we got just a couple more out of place. We got three more after this one. So let's just keep placing them in. Why not? I don't know why these, when we're trying to place these down, they like reset on us. But that's all right. It is what it is. Again, we're just going to keep on working, keep on expanding. We have $171 only. But that is okay. We are doing plenty fine um, for money. Obviously, we got all of our materials or anything that we all already all need. And um, we're just going to keep putting these these bad boys in. Keep on expanding as things go on. But um, this is definitely by far the best way to make money in this game because it is so slow to uh, make money any other way at this point, I'm sorry to say. But um, this is by far the best way to go about this. So we're just going to keep on rolling with all of this and uh, doing, doing what we do best with this. We're going to make like 10000 for this. We're going to buy another license after this and... Just keep doing the the wholesale orders for this. So there's all of that. Let's get, I mean, all of the Unico gray jeans. Let's see here. So pants. Um, let's get. Want to make sure we're doing the gray, so we don't mess these up. That's blue. We don't want that. We want the gray. It takes a little bit to go, get all these set up. Holy crap! I just saw a big flash behind me. I've got, uh, again, a... yeah, I don't know if you guys can hear that at all. There is a decent-sized storm going on. I just, again, saw the saw the flash and knew the lightning was coming. Okay. 
So there is that. Let's just keep on a rolling with all of this. So obviously, again, it takes a little bit to get these set up. But that is all right. Once we're there, it isn't too bad then. I mean, we're, we're basically doing like half of the production run right here. And then our second half will be even faster. There we go. I do want to work towards getting that um, that van as well. Because we could definitely use that, especially with how much we are doing wholesale orders. That would be nice for us, because we are limited to 38 boxes. So 380 of uh, whatever product, excuse me, we are making. Okay. Um, so yeah, that is more than half of our order. We're down to 21 left, so that means we just made, um, 23 of those, I believe, if I'm not mistaken. Okay, so there we go. Let's get back inside here. Look at all these just sitting here now. We gotta get all these loaded on up. We should actually probably just, I guess we could just start making some and then run over and uh, get these all delivered. Okay. Yeah, this is where we, I know we, there's employees, but unfortunately there's no employee to actually help us out with production of things. I wish that we could just have an employee. Oh, it even shows us how I didn't even notice that until now. It shows us how many boxes we have and how many we can hold. Our capacity. But, um, yeah, I wish that we could have an employee, like, we just tell them, like, hey, make these, this number of this item. Like, right now, we just tell him to make 440 of these pants. And he would go ahead and start making them as long as we had the materials in stock. That would be kind of cool. But, um, yeah, unfortunately, we're, it's like a stalker. We have the cashier and I believe a security guard is the three employees currently. So, going to take um, probably a little bit, I'm sure, before we get something like that. that but that would be kind of cool if we could. But, uh, all right. Let's see here. Let's keep picking up all these, and obviously we got to get the next set of them started, and then we'll get these one, these bad boys delivered right away, and then we'll come back and grab the other half of uh, what we have. It looks like the the only one that broke was just um, the one, so that is not too bad. There we go again. These will these are going a little bit quicker, so we're not having to scroll through. Trying to find the right ones. Yeah, that is so nice that we have 23 of these uh, fabricated machines now. So we can do a crazy number of orders or products in a very short time for all these. Yeah, these are, I mean, they're, I guess, 34 seconds, so it's taken us a little bit to get these going, being so many. Uh, we have four left here. Two left, and last one right here. There we go. Let's go ahead and just get these on rolling. Got to load these up to the ship. It's taking us a little bit longer here. We're already, I mean, seven minutes into this, which isn't bad, but uh, longer than usual for us. We've been, we were doing these wholesale orders in like five minutes in the last episode. We were just making a ton of money from it. I think there was an update to the game as well, and I think a driving change was part of that, of improving the driving uh, of the game. Other than that, there wasn't a whole lot of like crazy uh, updates. It was just some basic little fixes for the game. But uh, yeah, so let's get these all loaded on up here. We got quite a few already, and the rest of them are already made back at the factory. Okay. And there we go. Yeah, we got 230 or 23 boxes out of 440 or 44 boxes. So, and again, we got the other 21 of them sitting back at the factory right now. We just got to get them all loaded on up in the truck and um, get them delivered. We are at level 12 now. So that is awesome. We're going to be getting like 10K for this for this one. So not like a crazy good high amount, but uh, not too bad either.
Oop. Don't want to get stuck in here. Okay. Oh, we got another one that's broken. That's all right. Um, yeah, let's just... Yeah, I don't know. Maybe the, with the update, I just realized maybe the update added that little um, indicator of what how full the truck is and, and the capacity of it. I don't really know. But again, I don't know if you guys can hear a thunder in the background, but it is loud. It's like 9 o'clock at night here, and it's pitch black out. And it is chucking it down pretty good. I love me some good storms, though. Definitely uh, one of the nicest things about summer for me is getting to have the storms and listen to them and everything. And you guys know, like, I, I live in Florida most of the time, and during the winter months, we really don't get much for storms and everything. It's pretty dry, relatively dry. So, um... It's always nice getting to um, hear some storms and everything. But, um, yeah. Alright. Let's keep on a rolling here. Nope. Okay. So there we go. Get that loaded on up. That's the last one right there. And let's get... Let's head on over. Get this last crate on delivered and we'll be good to, to continue on we're going to get another set of another license and get probably i'm honestly surprised because now we just spent the money which i'm not too concerned about because i do want to eventually get all the licenses in the game so that's not really a big deal but uh, oh. <laughs> obviously we're trying to uh, make the most of our uh, money and everything here Sorry about that, guys. I just can't just shut off the recording yet again. I do that way too often. I need to adjust that key binding, especially... I, I know I'm only going to be at my mobile setup for another week or so, but, um, yeah, I really need to adjust that because I do that way too often of smacking the escape key with my macro that I've got sitting right next to, it, right next to the escape key. And there we go. That is, well, 12000 we actually made in that. Obviously, we didn't quite make that much because we had to purchase. It was about, I guess, yeah, it was about 10500 we, like, actually profited after uh, purchasing all the materials and everything for that, the raw materials. So that is level 12 for us. So we have a little over 12000 back in the bank, so we just remade all of that we just spent. Um, basically, but we got even more machines now. We got seven more. So that means we had six. Yeah, that's right. We had 16 before. I do remember that now. But, um, yeah, so we got 23 machines here. So that is awesome. Love to see it. And, um, yeah, let's get... Oh, I thought I just canceled it again. I thought I just smacked the, um, the escape, or the, uh, my macro again, but nope, I'm good. We're good. Okay. Had a bit of an issue, too, with my mouse on, my, my, uh, mouse that I use to either travel with and, like, go mobile with or away from my normal desk that I've been using the last, um, few weeks being up north, and... It's, um, I kind of crap, crapped out of me. It was starting to double click on some things and it got really bad. Um, and for whatever reason, I don't know why that was, but yeah, it got really bad and it got to be where I couldn't even really play anything, um, to the point where it, we, it was just double clicking constantly. So I had to uh, get a new one now. So we are good to go with that. We got 4.3 on the, um, Louis Vuitton, Vuitton, Leo Vuitton, <laughs> actually Louis Vuitton. So let's go ahead, I guess, purchase that. I don't know what is up with maybe the wholesale orders. Maybe they got updated where we don't get them all for the new items right away. I Oh, that looks new. Though. Yep, that is definitely new. Okay. So that is our best one at um, thir just over 13,000 profit. Not too bad. 587 for cost. We need 47 boxes of the red ones so we can get that done. And basically two, um, two things. So we need red shirts, um, which what does that... Um, shirts. We just need... Oh, right there. Colored thread and colored fabric. Okay. So we need colored thread and colored fabric times 47. 47 and colored thread times 47. There we go. That is that already. Okay. Um, yeah, we, I guess we could just do that. Oh, that's why, because... There we go.
Okay. Yeah, this kind of works. I mean, it takes just a little bit, again, to get them set up. But uh, once we're there, it's not too bad. There we go. Again, just... Yeah, it definitely takes a little bit to uh, get set up, but that's all right. We honestly probably should just go into the all. So that way we can just use the search function and not have to uh, click on that. There we go. a bunch more to still do here, but that's all right. We're able to basically get all of these in one shot. Again, we just, we need to get that van. That's going to be the next thing that uh, we're going to want to do here. So I think instead of expanding more, we're going to save up some money. Obviously, we're going we're gonna to keep doing some new licenses and stuff, because that's going to keep aiding us in getting more money. But, um... Yeah, it's gonna be well worth it for us to um, to get that van. We got a lot of broken machines, though. Not a fan of that. Okay, so yeah, let's get all these loaded on up. I also don't know how long our recording is. I think I was at about 15 minutes before. Maybe not quite that long. Oh, it's so frustrating. I will say I I'm excited to get back to my original uh, my normal. At normal at home setup because I've got like we got like face cam and everything which I know a bunch of you guys are new around here since I've been gone for the last few weeks away from my normal setup so again we've got the face cam um, and I use a stream deck a uh, Elgato stream deck which is absolutely amazing a little stream deck mini I just use that for like my record my my OBS um, controls for like recording pausing it start stopping different scenes of turning on and off face cam and all that it makes things a breeze um, trying to trying to do all that and I've got some macros on my other keyboard that I'm using an older one for my kind of mobile current setup away from my normal office setup and I use again using the macros for the OBS controls and I've got the record the one I use for to stop the recording right by the right next to the escape key so I keep smacking it on accident when I'm trying to hit the escape key it's a little bit annoying but it is what it is it's all right but yeah, so we need another, we're gonna need one more whole set because it's, we'll get 46 out of two runs because it's 23 times two. So we're gonna need one more, um, just need to make one more run with one machine um, after that. And then we will, be... okay, I definitely did not mean to do that, but <laughs> it's all right. Okay, let's not smack my macro key to stop the recording. Yeah, let's get all these bad boys unloaded then right away. <sighs> I did not mean to do that, but that's alright. Okay. So there is all of this. And again, we gotta make one more whole run, which we probably should have actually got started before... before leaving. Oh, that's all right. Okay. So there's that. Let's head on out of here. We got half, basically half of the uh, order done, which is awesome. Again, we need we need to save up for that van. Because at this point now, we're just kind of wasting time running back and forth with the truck. Or I think we can get it all in one shot normally. So we also need to make sure we need to check on our sign out there to see if we can adjust that because I don't know if we can adjust what we have displayed on that sign because like it is all the uh, just the forever 20 stuff so I don't know if we can get that set up to be like some of our new stuff as well which would be kind of cool but uh, I don't know we'll see let's get this all repaired on up though um, there we go set got this guy right here and then just our first one right here, and there we go. Oh, I almost clicked on that. Oh, it's gonna be... Oh, 
Okay, that's a bit unfortunate. We need to actually... Huh? We need to actually still, like, research for it. But that's all right. Kind of, I guess it will give things time to um, finish on up, so that's that's all right. There we go. Okay. Almost there. We're more than halfway there, so that's good. Anyways. There we go. Really hope I just made all these correctly and all the same or the right ones. I mean, I guess we got enough money where we can purchase more raw materials if we need to. Unlike the last time, if we screwed it up, we wouldn't have. But uh, that's all right. Let's head on down here. Let's get all these bad boys. Yeah, it looks like we got everything correct. Okay. At least we can fit everything now in this truck. It's not too bad. Should be enough for another level or two, which is awesome. We want to obviously keep on leveling up so we can get some new um, licenses unlocked, which are will yield us even more money. And um, yeah, just keep on rolling with everything here. Okay. go and we just need oh you know what I need to get one started actually let's, let's just do this one here there we go let's quickly repair this one as well while we're I guess waiting on that and finishing loading up all this stuff got another one broken up here too and this will be uh, this will be it then for all these Oops. And we get another one completed, and we should be able to try to quickly maybe run through one more. We'll see here. Okay. So there is that. Let's get this bad boy unrepaired quick. And then... We got the last one finished up right there. Okay. So there's that. Let's hop on in the truck. Get on down to the dock, get this bad boy loaded on up, and we'll see where things are at from there. I would love to get another one done so we can maybe work towards getting that van in the next episode. I don't know. We will see with that. I wish I knew exactly how much time we're at right now. Unfortunately, I have a, I have a general idea, but not, not exactly. Okay. Yeah, unfortunately, my, like I said, my recording accidentally stopped it and had to... Okay. <laughs> I saw the box, the crate freak out. But unfortunately, I stopped it and then um, started back up, so I don't know exactly where we were at before uh, stopping it. Only, uh, the only thing I know is where we're at right now with the, the second part recording. And there we go. 13 and a half thousand. We have 20, almost 21 grand for that. Obviously, we got more materials and such to purchase. And uh, all that, and a new license, because there we go, that is level 13 as well, so that is awesome. Let's go ahead and get another license, I guess, purchased on up. And um, keep on rolling, keep on moving for this. Okay. Yeah, it is getting to the point now where it's like it's so many machines that it's hard to actually get them all like up and running. Where before it was like, okay, we had like a couple of them and we were just able to kind of quickly keep flipping through them. It's obviously nice to be able to do big bulk quantities at a time, but it obviously takes just a little bit to um, get through them all, get them all set up and everything for the right right item and everything and all that. But um, yeah, so let's get. I don't know why that keeps resetting now too. We got these all the way down here. We got Prado, Prada would be. So we got. I mean, that's going to be the next one to unlock right here. Is going to be another forty three hundred for that. Oh, look at that, 17,000 for some jeans. Right? Or no, that's 7,000. No, that, yeah, that is 7,000. Okay. 
It's not very great. Not very good, honestly, on that. It's definitely better, but I don't know why we have such a low one on that compared to weird as it will over weird. I mean, 13, almost 13,000 or so for that. Um, It's only 30, so we can get all those on one truck. I guess, yeah, let's just go ahead and do that. North Slope Gray. So for that, we already know kind of what we need here for this. Um, it is colored fabric, right? 32, cheap zipper, and plastic button. So colored fabric. Yep, that's right. I think I can do... Can I, like, copy and paste? Oh, we can. That is awesome. Okay. So, see, now, once, the, once we get to the uh, ones that are in all, that'll be even easier. We should be able to um, get in. Yeah, okay. So there's that. Um, yeah, let's just get, I mean, obviously all of these done. We can get all these done in one run. So that'll be nice for us. We'll just keep on rolling with everything here. Keep making some money. Keep getting closer again. I think we're going to work towards getting that van. I think that'll be well worth it for us rather than just keep on expanding the factory. Obviously, it's nice to keep adding more machines and everything. But we really don't need it at the moment. I don't know why I just did that there, but that's alright. Um, there's that. Alright. Okay. Okay. So we got all these. Let's, I guess, just grab this guy and get this guy repaired on up right away. I think that's the only one that's broken here so far. Yeah, I think we're good with all of these. Yeah, I'm glad we can at least load these all into one, one truckload. So that'll be nice. I'm really curious to see how many crates that, that van can hold. That's really why I want to get that. So we can just stop having to deal with the truck. We can just load everything up into the van and... Um, do all that. So I think that'll be in the following video, following episode for that, which, uh, like I said, I'm really looking forward to because I want to see how much we can fit in that and uh, how much more efficient it'll make it make us so we're not having to make these uh, double trips for some of these bigger orders. Not that it's a huge deal, but uh, it's definitely slowing us down a little bit. It's a couple, extra couple minutes to go run back and forth, rather whether it's to, from the airport or to the airport and back or the uh, port and back so that'll be nice to do that but we obviously need 50k for that plus obviously more new licenses and um all the materials and such that we need for ever all of it okay so there we go let's get all of that and then how many more do we need here um another eight go. I guess we probably could have gone closer to the truck with these. That's one of the things, one of the issues too is we're getting further and further away. I wish that we could do like a pallet kind of thing, like a, on a forklift or something. That would be kind of cool. Is that uh, we need one more here. That would be kind of cool if we could like load them up on like a forklift pallet kind of thing. Drive it around as we I guess that probably would just be too difficult honestly. So maybe not. I, I don't know. I think at this point we could probably, like I said, just use some sort of employee to help us, like, manufacture stuff, not just sell, not just aiding us in selling things. Okay.
And there we go. He's got the last two crates. And then everything is all loaded on up. And there we go. We are all set and ready to go. We got our 32 boxes of 320 jeans. North Slope Gray jeans. And uh, we'll make another 8,000 or so from this. Which I don't think it's going to be enough to do a level up. But uh, it should be enough. Uh, it'll be enough money to get us above 20k and keep us above 20. Which means we just need about 30,000 to um, get the van. Along with, I guess, a little bit extra money for some other stuff. But that's alright. So let's get all of these... Load it on up here. There we go. Let's get all of these. Oh, we got a new invoice. Gotta get that paid here right away, too. Before we forget about that. So let's get... Once we get back to the shop, we'll get invoice paid. We'll get a new license if we can. I don't think we're going to be able to, though. I think we're going to be just shy of 14. And uh, we'll just see where we're at, I guess, for the next wholesale order yeah, as well right away. There we go. We've got 8,000. That's almost 24,000. So we're almost halfway to um, having enough money to unlock the van. Which, yeah, we're just a little bit of ways. But our next wholesale order will be able to get leveled up to 14, which, I mean, which means that we can unlock it yet again. Another new wholesale order. Or another new license. I'm sorry. And um, just keep on expanding this. I just want to keep on growing the store and, or, or I guess, the manufacturing side of things. That's kind of the big thing we've been focusing on. Obviously, the wholesale orders have been making the most amount of money with all of that. Um, but, yeah. Just move this on in here. Get all set and ready to go. Let's get our invoices paid here real quick before we forget. Um, invoices. Ooh. That was a hefty bill for that. Let's see, wholesale, yeah, only 7,000. Not that great, I mean, it's, I shouldn't say it's not that great, it's still pretty good, but not, um, I guess, all that great. We still have to redesign, or no, we did We did do some of our own merch, that's right. I completely forgot about that. Ooh. Security, store restocker, cashier, mechanic, factory restocker, what do... Okay. So I think we need to purchase. I know I did see something about this, but I don't think. Yeah, I think it's just these storage racks. Honestly, I think what we could maybe do. So I, think, I mean, that'll be for the next episode, but I think what we could do actually is if we get a couple of these storage racks, I think we could place them like right here. And as soon as we start making stuff, they're going to run along and actually pick them up once they're finished. And then we'll be right there with it to just grab it off of there, load it up, grab it off, load it up. So that actually might be a really good idea to hire a um, a worker. And our first, uh, our factory restocker here, which again, I think, yeah, um, takes the newly produced products from the machine and places them in these storage areas. So yeah, we just need to buy the, I guess need to buy pallets or storage racks. So what is a pallet? So yeah, that definitely would work for that. Was there a pallet at all? I don't remember. Store. Oh, store storage rack. I guess we need to test a little bit with this and see. There's just a storage rack as well. So I don't know which one we need for that. And then we've got the pallet. Oh, wait, yeah, pallets right there. So we can do the pallets of these, I guess, either pallets or the storage racks. I kind of like the, I kind of like the, like the look of the storage racks. They're 400 bucks for each of them. So, oh, that's a thousand. Okay. I'm not really too concerned about money. We're doing really good with this. But again, we need to work towards getting this panel van because I want to see how much we can get for storage on that. But um, yeah, so that's, I think it'd be a good point to wrap up this episode here, guys. Again, we're going to come back in the next one. We're going to get our first employee hired. We're going to test out some of the new ideas for that and uh, try to help us out with all of this to uh, continue on and just speeding up our processes because it has taken us a little bit of time for that. But yeah, that's going to do it for this one, guys. So if you guys enjoyed this, be sure to drop a like in the video. Show it some love and support. And if you guys are new around here checking this out, be sure to hit that subscribe button down below so you guys don't miss out on any videos that we're doing here. But thank you all very much for watching. I hope you all enjoyed it, and I will see you on the next one. Peace out, guys.